Hey guys and welcome to another Hope Daily. So today's Monday and we are going to be in 1 John chapter 1 today, just continuing our Bible reading plan and um, working from James through to Jude, uh, the last kind of epistles uh, in the New Testament. So let's just pray as we uh, dive into this devotional. So yeah, dear Lord, we just pray. God, right now, Lord, um, as I uh, do this study, God, and as uh, people watch it, uh, Lord, that you would just still our hearts and minds, that your Holy Spirit, God, would just reveal and open up open up our hearts to your word. I just pray, Lord, that your living word might speak to us. Um, help me to understand it. Help help us to understand it, God, that we might um, be filled with joy at the thought of you. So, God, we just create the space for you now. Holy Spirit, we just ask would you your presence. Just enlighten us. Give us a greater and a deeper knowledge of who you are, that we might worship you and glorify you with all, all that we do. Amen. Amen. Great. So we're going to be in 1 John chapter 1, um, and the, I guess the title for this devotional would be um, The Word of Life, or, or We Get to Fellowship with the Word of Life. Um, and that this is, you know, like the, the, the thoughts and the truths in this passage are just so incredibly deep <laughs> and rich. It's just awesome. So let's just uh, let's jump into it. So it says in 1 John chapter 1, That which was from the beginning, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at, and our hands have touched, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. Um, so, so John is, is talking about, about Jesus here, Jesus Christ. Um, so he says that which was from the beginning, as we're saying here, Jesus Christ was from the beginning. You know, kind of like the, you know, like the beginning of the beginning. You know, like in the beginning. <laughs> um, you know, in the beginning is how Genesis starts. Um, in the beginning is how John starts his first kind of his, his gospel account. Then now he's kind of writing this epistle, and again he's kind of bringing out the same theme that that which was from the beginning, Christ. You know, like um, you know, the one who who was not born, who, but who was kind of begotten of the Father. You know, the God who existed at the beginning, um, which we have heard, which we have seen with our eyes, which we have looked at and our hands have touched. Um, you know, so that's kind of Jesus incarnate, uh, you know, Christ incarnate through the person of Jesus of Nazareth. Um, you know, they heard him, they saw him, they, they looked at him. And they they and, and, and they, they touched him. You know they had interaction with him. He was a, he was a, he was a physical guy. He, he, so he came he came personally. And um, this we proclaim concerning the word of life. So so John calls Jesus Christ here the word of life. So the word which is like the Greek word logos, which means like to speak. You know to 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 to, to utter words. Um, but it also has a larger implication or a larger meaning of you know, logic, understanding, uh, knowledge. Um, and so it's like, um, you know, by kind of by reason of revelation, you know, so that's why Christ is called the word because he is kind of, he's like the revelation of God. He's, he's God like revealing himself. That's why we call the Bible, the word of God, because it, it, what one is God speaking, uh, but it's also God revealing himself. Um, so this is like, so Christ is the word of life, like that, the revelation of life or, uh, you know, the, the truth of life. Um, uh, and that's really like who he is. He is life. You know that, that in him there is life, and that's kind of what John says at the start of his gospel. Um, in him was life, and uh, the life was the light of mankind, or the other way around. Um, it says the life appeared, which we have seen and testified to it, and we proclaim to you the eternal life, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. Um, so it's just it's just really cool how John calls Jesus the Word of Life, uh, the Life, and the Eternal Life. You know, as in like, I, like, what is life about? Life is just that Jesus Christ. It's it's found in God. It's found in the person, um, uh, a work of Christ. Um, it, you know, in the in, in the Son of God, and that, that that there is life in Him. There is purpose in Him. That He is life. He is the eternal life. He is the Word of life. Um, if you want to know what life is about, look at Him. That that's what it's all about, and what He came to reveal to us. Um, which is just so amazing. It's just so rich and deep, isn't it? Um, and it's interesting how um, John doesn't use kind of personal pronouns here, saying, you know, um, you know, he appeared and we have seen him and testified to him and we proclaimed to you, um, you know, him who was the eternal life. And he's clearly talking about Jesus because it says, because um, um, he, he, you know, which was with the Father and has appeared to us. So it's, he kind of uses non-personal pronouns and he kind of says, uh, you know, it 
um, and you know so the life appeared we have seen it and testify to it and we proclaim to you the eternal life which was with the father and has appeared to us um, you know almost as of like the eternal life this word of life is like this being or this force um, you know, I guess sometimes you know how we often kind of reference the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit is a person, but often we, you know, we call it by call it by it, or is is a, is a more of a being because because that, that that that's kind of in in kind of how he works. Uh, but it's definitely a person. Um, but here we kind of see like just like the majestic kind of being of Christ. That even like John doesn't doesn't even use personal pronouns. Doesn't even call him he. Um, he just says you know like it. You know like like you know that that like the Christ, the life. Um, you know this like governing life this governing author of existence <laughs> you know is is what life is all about which is just like it's just like mind-boggling um, it says we proclaim to you what we have seen and heard so that you may also have fellowship with us so John's so John his fellow disciples his fellow apostles you know had fellowship with Christ they had fellowship with the word of life and they continued to do so through the ministry of the Holy Spirit and he's, he's inviting other people to come and have that as well he's saying so that you also may have fellowship with us uh, and so really the invitation to the gospel the invitation to, to become a Christian is really to have the, the invitation to have fellowship with the God of the universe to have fellowship with the living God to have fellowship with the word of life with um, with we, we, you know with the logic of the behind the universe to have fellowship with him just as other people just as other believers other Christians throughout the ages have and had fellowship with him um, which is which is really really well it's, it's amazing and our fellowship is with the father and with his son Jesus Christ so in case you're thinking well isn't just a fellowship just between John and his disciples you know they're having a little fellowship together a little prayer meeting and, and you know we get to get to be a part of that through local churches no, he says, our fellowship is with the Father and his Son. You know, that's our fellowship is with God. Our fellowship is with the living creator of the universe, with the word of life, um, which is just amazing. Um, it's amazing to think how big and how majestic he is, but then how amazing it is that we get to have fellowship with that being, with that person um, who is the word of life. We, and then John says, we write this to make our joy complete. You know, like John's joy is having fellowship with the word of life and inviting others to, to have that same fellowship. And really, that that should be our joy as believers that we get to have fellowship with the Word of Life. That one, that is one thing that we live for and enjoy to have fellowship with the Word of Life. And secondly, like we we want to make that known and invite others to do that, um, to to inviting others to have fellowship with the Word of Life. Um, you know, so um, and that that's really kind of like the purpose of the church. <laughs> you know, one is to have fellowship with the Word of Life, and two is to invite others to have fellowship with the Word of Life. And that's pretty much it. <laughs> Um, so um, yeah it's just amazing and then uh, the rest of kind of chapter one he kind of is talking about kind of living in living in the light of that um, he kind of says in verse five this is the message we have heard from from him and declare to you God is light in him there is no darkness at all if we claim to have fellowship with him yet walk in the darkness we lie and do not live by the truth but if we walk in the light as he is in the light we have fellowship with one another and the blood of Jesus his son purifies us from all sin you know so so if, if we claim to have fellowship with God, if we have if we claim to have fellowship with this word of life, then shouldn't it make a difference to how we live? Shouldn't it make a difference to, you know, um, our, our desires and our thoughts and our attitudes and, and creating us a desire to live right before God? That if we have fellowship with the word of life, um, then we don't want to do anything to kind of hinder that or to damage that or to 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 to, to draw away from that, you know, which sin does sin sin does hinder our relationship with God. Um, you know, on, on like a on like a day to day basis, you know, and through the finished work of Christ, you know, like we can have relationship with God, um, and so yeah, so so one is that we have the opportunity to have fellowship with the Word of Life, and secondly, let's make that fellowship all the more real, all the more practical, all the more um, you know existent in our lives that day to day we are having fellowship with God day to day we are having fellowship with Christ and the output of that the fruit of that is that that we walk in the light we, we walk by that life we, that we live by that light and according to that light and the fruit of that is that we live lives you know um, fleeing from sin and uh, pursuing holiness um, you know striving um, after you know after righteous deeds um, you know, and seeking to please God with all that we do, 
um, knowing that our salvation has been afforded by the grace of God through Jesus Christ and that our, our lives are just a thankful expression of worship um, in response to that. So, yeah, today, have fellowship with the Word of Life. I want to take some time out today just to, just to fellowship with God, just to be with God, because um, knowing Him and loving Him and worshipping Him is, uh, is why you are here. God bless. Have an awesome day. We'll see you soon.